everyone. Jacqueline Carton here from Pure Nutrition. So here we are at the festive season. This is a time when we tend to overindulge. Everywhere we go, people are giving us food and feeding us with rich, sugary treats. And there's an abundance of it about at this time of the year. And I'm not saying don't spoil yourself over the festive time. Absolutely, I like a bit myself. It's just making good choices with it and trying to keep it at a balance where we're not tipping ourselves over to get that real sugar low or to um, find that our immune systems isn't performing as well as we want it to because we're overindulging with too much rich food or too much processed sugary things. So I thought we would finish up with giving some alternative healthy treats that we can ha actually have over the festive season. So um, keeping with that theme, we're going to do two different recipes today. And the first one that we're going to do is some healthy cookies. And these, again, very, very simple to make. Actually, I make some of these uh, treats and give them as part of uh, gifts to family and friends. And they really, really do love them as well. But the ingredients that we're going to be using here, it's going to be taste some flavour soon. Uh, give you that little sugar hit, but also keep the blood sugars balanced too, so that you're getting that wee lift, but you're also getting the energy lift as well, and it's keeping you not feeling so hungry for longer periods of time. So the first one we're going to look at for the ingredients for this is the healthy cookies. We're going to start with one and a half cups of porridge oats. Now I've taken a mixture of the finer porridge oat and the jumbo oats. Um, you can use either or, um, but it blends better when you mix the two for the finest as well. So we're going to have one and a half cups of that, which is 135 grams of porridge oats. We're going to use two bananas. I've tried to pick ones that are fairly ripe. Uh, the riper they are, the sweeter they are. And this is going to be our big sugar intake of flavour in this. We're going to be using some nut butter. I'm using an almond nut butter, but whatever type of nut butter you have in uh, the cupboard is grand. So for that, we are going to be using one quarter of a cup, which is... I've tried to make these measurements easier for you. 60 grams of nut butter, a quarter teaspoon of sea salt, and you can use either maple syrup or I have a local honey that I'm going to use for this particular one. So either or is grand. Now that's going to be the main basis of the cookie itself. And then we're going to flavor it we're going to do two different flavours. We're going to do, make one with uh, coconut and we're going to make one with my favourite, dark chocolate. So we're going to use some uh, small pieces of chocolate. So we're going to do like a, a chocolate oat cookie as well. Okay, so that is all the ingredients that we're going to need to put this mixture together. So let's prepare this now uh, and get the bowl set up for it. Take your two bananas. Peel them, put them into a bowl and with a fork, mash them down well. In a mixing bowl, mix together your ingredients, adding your oats, nut butter, Salt, honey, and bananas. Mix well for around two to three minutes until everything is blended well together. We're now going to get two other bowls. Dividing the main bowl into two more bowls. So that we then have three equal portion bowls. 
And in one bowl, we are going to add our chocolate chips and mix well. And in the second bowl, we're going to mix in our coconut. Mix well. We now have three different bowls with a coconut oat mix, a chocolate chip oat mix, and a plain oat mix, ready to prepare for baking. We now need a baking tray with a sheet of parchment paper. We are going to take our three different mixing bowls and make them up into small cookies and place them on the parchment paper. We are going to have the oven preheated at 180 and we are going to cook the cookies for 15 to 20 minutes. our healthy cookies that are in the oven uh, slowly baking away there at 180 and now we're going to look at our second recipe this is a really big favorite of mine and um, there is no cooking involved in this which is lovely as well um, and uh, it's very easy to put together but they taste delicious really um, a really indulgent sort of taste to them as well and they freeze really well, which is another great plus for them as well. These are my Christmas truffles. Um, saying that, you can use them at any time of the year as well too. So, but again, it's just looking at um, putting better food sources together that makes it quite tasty, but quite nutritious as well. So we'll have a wee look at the ingredients. Now this is going to make around 12 to 14 of the root truffles, kind of um, uh, like for a Rashi size type truffles. So we're actually going to use 30 grams of spelt flakes. Now if you don't have spelt flakes, um, you can use oats. Oats work really well with this as well too. Um, but I personally really like this, it gives a wee sort of nutty texture to it. But if you use jumbo oats, it's very similar as well. But uh, the spelt is a really good source. Uh, it's really good protein. There's a slow energy releaser as well. We're also going to use 80 grams of cashew nuts. Uh, again, if you don't have cashew nuts, almonds work well too. And Brazil nuts work well too. Cashew gives, uh, there's a creaminess to cashew, which I really like as well. A good plant-based protein as well. I'm going to be using two tablespoons of coconut oil which we're going to melt down as well. A pinch of salt. Now you can use a dry fruit of your choice. I'm using raisins. Now I've soaked them because we're going to be putting this into the processor and um, I find that they go into paste easier when they're rehydrated a bit. So for this can use dates, 80 grams of raisins or 80 grams of dates. Apricots also work well too. So again, personal choice, but the dry fruit is where you're getting your sweetness source from this. I'm using one tablespoon of tahini. Um, tahini is cream sesame seeds and it is a really good source of calcium, absorbable calcium. Uh, but it tastes really good as well too and it's really lovely in something like this. It really has a really nutty sort of flavour to it as well. We're going to use three tablespoons of cacao. Now if you don't have cacao you can use the pure cocoa powder as well. Again personal choice but I, I personally prefer the cacao. Uh, we're going to use one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And because it's Christmas, we're going to add, again, choice of flavours. I'm going to use a little bit of juice of lemon and a little juice of orange. And just to keep with the festive theme, we're going to put a little bit of nutmeg into it and a little bit of cinnamon. But again, personal choice. You can keep these out 
it still tastes really good. That is all the ingredients that we need for the little um, truffles that we're going to make. So we're going to actually process all this in the food processor. So we'll go over there now and we'll put that together. Add all the ingredients to the blender. The spelt flakes, nuts, raisins, salt, tahini, vanilla extract, cocoa powder or cacao which I am using, cinnamon, nutmeg, juice of half an orange, juice of half a lemon and the melted coconut oil. It's now ready to blend together. We now have our truffle mixture made up. Looks really nice. And you can see the nuts and the cocoa powder all blended in well. We're now going to divide them up into um, small balls that look roughly like for a rashi size. We're going to make those up before we put our coatings on them. Truffles are now ready to put a coating on them. So for that we're going to use coconut, just rolling the ball in the coconut and giving it that lovely white coconut um, effect to it. And we can use also cinnamon and the cocoa powder. Uh, that's a lovely mixture as well. So that we have a mixture of ones that aren't coated at all and ones that have coconut coating on them and ones that have pure cocoa and cinnamon coating on them. They look delicious. And here we have it, our healthy Christmas treats. Our lovely Oti biscuits with different flavours from chocolate chip, coconut to just oat. They're lovely soft and chewy, lovely with a wee cup of tea and our lovely cocoa truffles. Really tasty. Um, a few nice uh, healthy treats for over the festive time. Um, I hope you enjoyed those recipes. So here we have cookies three ways. Uh, from your coconut to your chocolate chip to your plain oat. And these actually freeze quite well too. And they're nice and chewy. They're lovely with a nice warming milk, a nice oat milk or something like that. Just as a little comforter. Slow energy release, high fibre all those good things that matter as well to you at this time of year and every time of year and these are my favorites these always go down really well and as i say they actually freeze quite well too they actually taste really nice from the freezer but much much nicer they're filled as well too so they're getting popped into the fridge now um, and i really hope that you've enjoyed this program i hope you find uh, the information and the recipes something that you feel that you could give a go and try um, I have always tried my best to implement the health aspects of making good food choices and in the new year um, Pure Nutrition is actually going to be starting our own podcast um, so maybe that's something you might want to be looking out for because we're going to be covering a wide variety of nutritional health topics as well and hopefully I'll be back with some more healthy recipes in the new year and uh, my natural approach to weight management is also a very very popular one um, that uh, a lot of people like to look into in the new year as well but you know keep well all year round folks and um, I hope the this program was enjoyable and useful and if you have any questions or queries at all please don't hesitate to contact me and you've got all the information at the end of this video so for me, a very, very happy Christmas and a happy new year. Keep well, keep safe, and hopefully I'll see you in the new year. Take care, folks. Bye for now.
Pure Nutrition is available by phone and online. We offer one-to-one -one based consultations and healthy cookery classes to individuals and groups such as friends, community organizations and workplaces. Our services are delivered via Zoom, Facebook Live, pre-recorded sessions or by phone. For more information, you can contact Pure Nutrition via phone, email, Facebook Messenger or WhatsApp. Thank you.